So now I'm at eight weeks past post-surgery and I no longer have the hemiplegic migraines. I don't get any kind of migraines now at all. I get maybe a slight headache once in a great while, but that's normal for anybody. And um, my dizziness is is a slight dizziness, but it's different than it was before the surgery. It's like my brain's trying to catch up to because it was so dizzy the other way. And um, it's so much better. I have so much hope now, whereas I've, for eight years that I've had this, had no hope, no help. And um, it's been a miracle, this surgery to get me back on my life and maybe work again. Can you go ahead and try to straighten that left leg out? Okay. And how about lift your left arm? Mm -mm. Can you straighten your right leg out for me? And can you lift your right arm up? Great. Can you straighten that left leg for me? Great. And bend it back. And how about lift your left arm for me? Still feel weak? So last year in November, I had a superior canal distance surgery. And I had, after that, I started getting back to where I was before I got sick eight years prior. Um, you no, know, I stopped having the hemiplegic migraines. And I was, it was like a miracle. I felt better than I have in so long. And then I had a severe asthma attack, end up in the hospital, stop breathing a couple times, and as soon as I got out of the hospital, all my symptoms came back. My hemiplegic migraines, which are stroke symptoms, um, where my whole left side goes paralyzed, my speech, confusion, and all of that came back. I'm having those daily, and it just takes control over my life. And um, the memory problems is really bad. Trying to come up with words, trying to 
remember things. People look at you weird, like something's wrong with you. And, um, and then I can't think. <laughs> So your superior canal dehiscence was on the right side. Now you're having symptoms on the left. What kind of symptoms yes. are you having on the left side? I am having, back to having the, I can hear my heartbeat thumping in my ears, um, static, uh, high-pitched screeching, and I get massages and chiropractic, and my ears pop when I did that. And I was told that the muscles pop when it's the gas releasing and that I hear really loud constantly in my ears. Uh, it's just, and it triggers my dizziness, my migraines, and I'm dizzy all the time, all the time. What about loud sounds? Do they bother you? Loud sounds r can trigger on a migraine, a hemiplegic migraine, and just, it hurts my ears. It's like someone stabbing in my ears with loud sounds and it's just really hard to deal with. And it's, besides the migraines, do the loud sounds make you dizzy or make you nauseated? They make me very dizzy. I'm back to throwing up like almost every day from getting so nauseous and it's like all the symptoms have rushed back and I'm really discouraged but hopeful now that I I'm going to have another surgery and really praying that this is going to going to fix it permanently and I can have my life back. So I've had regular migraines since I was 18, and then about five or six years ago, I started with hemiplegic migraines, which my whole left side would be paralyzed. I wouldn't be able to speak. They're stroke-like symptoms. And they built up to just once every few weeks to daily before my surgery, and Barry took over my life. Um, I also had regular constant headaches and um, I've not had a hemiplegic migraine in over six weeks. My daily headaches are gone. Um, I think I've had one regular migraine, maybe two in the past six weeks. Um, just, it's been a miracle just to be able to function again because it's just taken over my life. And, um, and what happened with loud sounds or if you had pressure applied to your ear? Oh, this the dizziness would be unbearable. And just the loud sounds would trigger my dizziness and I'd be throwing up and nauseous. And, and I could hear my heartbeat in my ears, which I never understood what it was until I started working with Dr. Wackham and also my muscles popping like when you're adjusted i could hear that in my ears the popping in my ears that's totally gone um and static and sharp piercing sounds the static i have once in a while but the piercing sounds are gone um it, it's just been a miracle just uh to be able to function again. I did not ever think this would happen. This has been going on for almost 10 years and no doctor's ever been able to do anything for me. Do you remember what happened that day we did a pressure test? Oh, and then I, that's when it triggered my hemiplegic migraine. My whole left side went paralyzed. I couldn't speak, a slurred speech. Um, my concentration, my, I couldn't think straight. Um, it's very frightening, even though it's happened to me so many times, it still freaks me out that I have no control over my body and 
to have those symptoms and know that it could happen at any moment. Um, and it's, you, you have no quality of life when you don't, you can't plan things because you don't know when they'll hit you. There's no stopping them. I can slow them up with medication, but never stop them. And they take me out for a couple days after that. Um, it, everything seems to trigger them and just feel free again that I can function. Be a person, be a grandma, be a mom again, a wife again. And uh, it's hard to describe how amazing it is. So I'm just going to apply that pressure here. Let me know if this bothers you at all. Yep, it's like starting a migraine. Starting a migraine? Yep, yeah, I can feel it on my left side. Numbness. Does your left side seem weak? No. Mm -hmm my face and mm -hmm. can you lift your arm up for me it just feels really heavy, heavy. and how about your left leg okay. it's kind of weak <laughs> 